Hi, my name is Brenna McKeon, and the title of my speech is Communication Through Time. The specific purpose of my speech is to inform my audience about how interpersonal communication has changed over time with social media and technology. Nowadays, everyone is a part of social media, and they're on some sort of social media platform, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, or any other form of social media. Therefore, social media affects almost everyone in some way, somehow, because most people in the world are on it. Interpersonal communication has changed because of how social media influences the way that we communicate today. I, myself, am on many different forms of social media, um, and I have also looked at many different peer-reviewed journals to that have um, researched different uh, topics in social media. I have also interviewed a 72-year-old man and asked him about how from back in the day um, communication has changed and evolved with social media. First, I will describe how social media has influenced public opinions. Then I will discuss how social media is used for good but it's also used for evil purposes as well. And lastly, I will discuss different forms of communication um, before social media and compare it to how we use social media, media today. Uh, the way that people used to communicate before social media is completely different than how we communicate today. Um, social media tends to not only allow us to communicate differently, but it also influences public opinions. Mass communication is a big part of social media. Um, on social media platforms, interpersonal communication has blended um, with mass communication and it's created this mass communication category. Uh, the technology that we use today has facilitated um, interpersonal debates alongside mass media messages according to Newbaum and Kramer. Social media challenges new conceptions about how public opinion forms and evolves in society. Before, studies showed that people's opinions were influenced by other individuals and their peers around them. <coughs> social media influences these different um, social processes because of the new technologies that we have today, according to Capella. Social media not only influences people's opinions, but it also is used for good and for bad. Um, social media has many different advantages, but it also has evil sides as well. Um, there's this thing called clip wraps, and they are digital prompts that facilitate con consent by um, affording users that opportunity to quickly accept or reject media policies according to social media for social good or evil. A survey was done by Obar and Odalef Hirsch to gather data to assess people's interactions with consent materials when they were signing up for fake social media accounts, platforms. Um, this survey showed the, that the clip reps uh, divert people's attention from privacy policies by suggesting that this is not important at all. This is not good because this allows for social media to use users' information without their knowledge and these users aren't aware of this according to the social media for uh, social good of, or evil. Although social media can be used for good and for evil, it can also be used, um, al although it can be used for evil, it can also be used for good. Um, social media can be used by content creators to present their work on different platforms. This allows their work to be um, to undergo different audiences for different critiques and it allows them to present their product at a much more affordable 
cost. Um, not only has social media been used for good and evil, but it also has changed the ways that we communicate today. Before social media, there were many different outlets to access different content along with different ways to communicate. Um, social media has changed the ways over time. These different ways were used to set agenda topics for people to think about and talk about. Um, before social media, the before the social media era, uh, mass media was spread through newspapers, television, and, and also the radio. Um, there were also you the. Um, I also interviewed a 72 year old man and he explained to me how back in his day they used to communicate. Um, he explained to me how when he was in the Vietnam War, he, how he would um, get letters back to his wife and to his daughter and he explained how long the process would take to even get them um, letters to his wife and to receive them back and sometimes he was even lucky enough to get to a phone to be able to call them which was awesome. Um, he also explained that he knew what social media was, um, but he didn't know how to use it or how to even like really get access to it. Um, he did say that he didn't know what Facebook was and Twitter was. Um, he explained that how he learns about what's happening in the world is through the news, and he also gets many different newspapers to sent to his house each day, so that's what he uses to read. Um, it's clear that the forms of communication have changed over time in our world and that social media has been a huge um, asset to the world but it has also brought some bad things as well. First I described how social media has influenced public opinion. Uh, then I discussed how social media is used for good but it is also used for evil as well. And lastly I discussed the different forms of communication and I interviewed a 72-year-old man to show um, how social media has affected him and how it's changed the world. Uh, interpersonal communication has changed because of social media influences the way that we communicate today. So because of social media, we have been able to spread mass communication through all throughout the world along with the other advantages that it has brought as well, but it has also brought the evil in the world as well.